hello guys welcome back again to dami dimensions channel my name is dami today i'm going to be showing you how to make a face mask that is very very comfortable that is very easy to breathe conveniently and super easy to speak because it creates enough room for the mouth and the nose it doesn't touch your mouth it doesn't touch your nose as well and when you take this face mask off you don't see makeup stains all over it like other style of face masks and even on the airplane with the pressure that comes with the airplane altitude this thing was super comfortable still and when you compare this face mask with another type you can see that this one i'm trying on right now is just so difficult to breathe you just want to take it off and have fresh hair you know and that's not the right way to wear the face mask it should cover your mouth and your nose and each time you try to do that it's just so difficult to speak, it's difficult to talk, and you just want to take it off and, <laughs> and breathe properly. And when you take it out of your mouth, you see it has the makeup stain all over it. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you a different design that is super comfortable and it doesn't touch your lipstick and all of that. And it covers your mouth and nose. So let's jump right to the work table. So right here, I have my fabric that is 12 inches long and also 12 inches wide all right so you are going to be cutting out this square fabric and i also cut out another fabric for the lining and i'm using a cutting fabric as you can see so this is also the same size 12 inches length and 12 inches width as well so i'm placing these two fabrics on top of each other right sides facing each other and I'm going to be folding them into two like this in half. And again, I'm folding it across again in another half. So now it's folded into four and I'm going to be cutting out a circle using this part as my center point. I'm taking six inches and I'm going to measure that six inches all the way around so that I can cut out sort of like a circle, but we are not working with the circle in the end. Just keep on watching so you can see what we are doing. So just keep taking the six inches round and then you are going to connect those points and cut it out like so. So after cutting it out and you open it up, you have something like this in the half circle. And also you are going to fold it again like this, all right? And then you are going to cut out this part. And you also cut it out on the other side as well. All right. So after cutting out and you flip it open now, this is what we have. So you see why I said we are not working with the full circle. This is the shape we are working with. And I'm just splitting them apart. So now this is going to be making two masks. Can you see how easy that is? You are not using a lot of fabric for this one. So now you have to make sure that your fabric is wrong sides facing each other. And then I'm going to be taking one and uh, 1.75 of an inch here, like so. And I'm also going to take that same 1.75 inch here. I will repeat that same measurement all along the sides of each of the panels just like you can see what i am doing i'm doing the same thing to the second mask as well so after taking that 1.75 of an inch you have something like this the next thing you are going to do now is to make sure your fabric is facing each other right sides right sides facing each other okay and then you are going to stitch from this point to that point by half of an inch and you stitch this way as well and you do the same thing to the second um mask so now that is done as you can see i made this stitch at half of an inch and the second one was a bit closer to the edge that's because i want one to be smaller and the other one to be bigger for me and my husband so i'm just notching around all the curved areas so that i'm going to turn it inside out and it's going to be flat and nice so you can see all the notches that i placed so the next thing you want to do now is to flip this to the right side like so 
right and i'm also going to be flipping the second face mask to the right side and once you're done flipping go ahead and give it a good press all right after ironing it you should have something that looks like this and the next thing you want to do is to fold in this end right here so you are going to be tucking this part in and you'll be repeating the same thing on the second side as well you will also do the same thing to the second mask if you're making two masks like me okay so as you can see i have tucked that in and i will do the same to the other um other sides so after that is done this is what it looks like and as you can see one is looking smaller and the other one is looking a little bit bigger just because i stitched one closer to the end than the other so now i'm cutting my um elastic band and i have 10 inches for this one and i'm cutting out two of that so two pieces of 10 inches long that's going to be for one of the face masks and then the other one is eight inches long and i'm also cutting out two pieces of that all right so the one for the eight inches i'm putting it inside my own mask because mine my face is a bit smaller and the one of 10 inches long elastic band i'm uh, putting that into the one for my husband because his face is a bit bigger than mine so go ahead and put your elastic band in this way as you can see what i'm doing so once you're done putting in the elastic band that way you should go ahead and stitch them down this way but before i do that i'm going to be um taking four inches in a way that i tried to centralize that four inches as much as possible it doesn't have to be perfect but just try to you know it's just like an indication for you to make your pleat so i also went ahead and divide the four inches into one one inches apart you don't have to do this actually you can just place your pleats randomly but just because i want to be extra and want things to be perfect that's why i went ahead to do that so then you can now go ahead and form the pleats using those points as guide but if you don't have those points like i said it's not necessary you can just place the pleats randomly as much as you want all right so once i was done placing the pleat i placed i think five or six pleats on this one and then you are going to do the same thing to the other side as well so place the same number of pleats that you placed at the top to the down part as well and use your pin to secure it down once you're done doing that you will do the same thing to, to the second um face mask if you're making two and then you would now take it to your machine stitch it this way stitch down the pleat stitch down the elastic and stitch down the pleat now i'm on my sewing machine and as you can notice i am reversing when i get to the part where i have the um elastic band and this is just to make sure it's properly secured it's not coming off when you're pulling it on your ear so when you um get to the pleats just take off your pins gently and continue stitching along and when you get to the corner lift up your machine foot and you know turn it around and keep on stitching remember to back stitch on the points where you have the elastic band okay take off your foot turn it around keep on stitching you know sew down the pleat and it's just so simple and easy and once that is done this is what i have i am going to be doing the second face mask the same exact way and that's basically it on how to make this mask you can see how easy it is you can do two simultaneously with the same cut you know and here i have six pleats as you can see and on the second one i have seven pleats at the top and seven pleats at the down and just to compare side by side the one with the more pleats is kind of more act in a way that it creates more room for the mouth for the lips and the nose basically while the one with just six pleats is a bit lower you know the arc is a bit lower 
and the room is less so you should put that into consideration when you're placing your pleat depending on how much room you want to create for your mouth and nose so here you can see the finished results so cute remember to leave a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel for more videos and click to watch my next video i hope to see you in that next video bye